I did face some, and um, it does not produce fear, but it does produce a great deal of anger in me. Um, not for myself, but for the state of mind we are at as a country, as we the people. And um, the apathy and the non-action of so many members of our society, of my society, this is causing me a great deal of anger. That's how I'm dealing with that. I'm going into, into action. Don't go there. Don't go there for me as a musician. Uh, whoever sends these threats, um, pardon my language, whatever ass out there is sending these threats does not make a distinction between is he an artist, a doctor, a politician or whatsoever. These threats, people of any kind are facing these threats, mostly women, Mostly people of, let's say, let's say, members of some kind of minorities, whatever that means. But anybody can be in the middle of, of that. Anybody. You can be. You can be. In the moment, uh, these, the, 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 uh, these fascists, fascists will dislike whatever you do, whoever you are. They will threaten you. That's, that's what I mean. You see, I... That's why I'm always so unbelievably surprised why the society as a, as a whole does not just understand what the urgency is here. Anybody can be in the middle of that. And um, why that is? Well, these people feel empowered. They have political parties, members who are now members of parliaments, who are representing an uncovered, absolutely unapologetic, neo-fascist like political idea. Period. I mean, if I, I, I can name the AFD party in Germany a fascist party. And now their followers feel empowered. And we see that throughout many, you know, throughout the, the entire world. I mean, people, they, they feel empowered. Social media gives them you know, a very easy, accessible platform. Okay. Certain laws should be changed. Certain, I mean, certain laws should be changed. It should not be allowed to threaten a member of the society with death from a anonymous email account and basically be free of, of any responsibility because you cannot be followed. You cannot be tracked down. Okay? Number one. Number two, we should, we should start, we should grow up a little bit in regard for our language. I, I, let me just give you one example. Whatever happens around the world or here in Germany, if, 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 if there is a racist attack or a racist, you know, uh, killing whatsoever, 95% of all politicians would go out and say um, this has been a horrific attack and let's be clear there is no place for racism in our country. BS. There is space and place for racism in our country. Face it. There has always been place for that, unfortunately. So stop throwing blunders, okay? So stop, stop talking like, like we are five-year-olds. Speak truth to the situation, which is we have a very serious problem with racism, anti-Semitism, anti-feminism, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Language is a very big part of what I'm calling to, not just to be changed, but to be sort of put on a grow, grow up, adult, more adult level. 
But yes, it is political action. It is lawful political action, which I'm calling for, and not just empty talk. Yeah. This music gives me energy. Beautiful or powerful quotes from Beethoven's writing is not sort of my most important source of energy. My friends are, people who are around here, people who are there are, not quotes from books. Not only, let's say. And I wouldn't need these quotes. Um, in order to be a, a vogue responsible citizen of my country. Let's put it that way. But the music itself, that is the great, a great source of inspiration, energy, and reason for be, being here. Yeah. His music has always been the very most important part of my artistic and, in a way, non-artistic life, too. Um, it is both my safe zone and my sort of source of the unknown and inspiration so far. And the most important part of my musical life, with, without any comparison. If you look into my world, okay, the world of classical music concerts, you look in the programs, etc. Every single calendar year is a Beethoven year. I don't know which composer is being performed more often than he is. And so um, we don't need an anniversary, but in best case, it can be a chance. If this chance will be um, used and taken, that's a different story. Everything about his piano pieces is just bizarrely challenging. It's, it's the technical aspect, it's the pianistic aspect, the aspect of these pieces just are never ending challenges in, in a kind that what, you can think that, hey, I, now I know the piece, I got the sonata, I can play it. Three days later, it's just entirely gone. And um, that is so dangerous about it and that is so incredibly inspirational about it because it, it just never, ever, ever gets boring and never ends. There is a great deal of Jewish culture which is unbelievably important to me. It is the humor, you know, a great deal of you know, the literature, the, 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 I mean, the culture in general. I'm not a religious guy, so I wouldn't know much about you know, religious history or rules or whatever. That's not, that's not my life. But culturally, it is an absolutely essential part of my life, yes.
totally. I am life obsessed in, in any kind. I'm, I just need the feeling that, uh, or the, I, I need to feel that I don't miss out anything. I, I'm, you know, like I wanna, I wanna br breathe in whatever surrounds me. That's what I'm obsessed about, totally. And I'm fine with that. I'm wearing a bracelet here, and it is um, a quote from James Baldwin. And Baldwin said, I cannot be a pessimist because I am alive. And I have nothing to add to that. <laughs>